When most platinum-selling superstars take a break from the road, they use the time to rest. But not Lady Antebellum. We had a month off, which was the longest break I think we've had since we formed as a band um, and got signed. So we just really took advantage of, of that break and had some great family time. And, and like everyone knows, I snuck away and got married. And it was amazing and, and honestly exactly the way we wanted it. Dave got engaged and then Charles and went on some great vacations. And, and it was just good time to relax and regroup and and just gear back up for a really exciting year. Hillary Scott, Charles Kelly, Dave Haywood, and Dallas Davidson. Come on up here, guys. And while enjoying their personal lives these days could be considered full-time jobs of their own, the trio did find some time this week to celebrate a few more professional victories as they were honored for their last two chart toppers, Just a Kiss and We Own the Night, both of which they wrote with Dallas Davidson. We on the Night and Just a Kiss were a huge part of this record. First two tracks, first two singles, title track of the album. So we wanted Dallas to be a big part of this day. We have a lot to celebrate and um, it's just great. He's, he's on fire too, so we're honored to get to write with him as much as we do. While both songs are featured on their Grammy-nominated Own the Night album, fans can get the live version starting this weekend when Lady A returns to the stage with more than 57 scheduled dates. I feel like we're finally putting on the show that we've always wanted to put on, and we decided to invest you know, in the show this year and, and uh, take a little bit of a leap of faith financially in that. But it's paid off because we're finally going, all right, we're you know really doing it now, so it's, it's, it's exciting. And concert goers can expect one more love song added to the band's newly updated set list, their latest single, Dancing Away With My Heart. We wrote that with Josh Keir, who we wrote um, Need You Now With, so uh, good early response to that. Love song. <laughs> love. <laughs> and with all that love in the air, we couldn't help but wonder if newlywed Hillary has gotten used to using the word husband. There is something that changes when you go from being engaged to act like that day is so sacred and beautiful um but husband it's a little it has a different ring to it have a husband well lady a isn't the only act carving out time of their busy schedules to celebrate well, it may have taken a long, hot summer to get to the top of the charts, but when it came time for Keith Urban to celebrate his recent number one, it was a cool winter's day and a village that made it all possible. It really does take a village. I mean, it, it starts with the song. It's always first. But the trajectory from that to getting in the studio to getting it on radio and getting it to a number one party is a big undertaking and takes a lot of people. And so for me, the party was a way for everybody to feel that appreciation. One person you'll find among that village is Keith's co-writer, Richard Marks, who was also honored. While the song originally hit the top spot last October, it wasn't until now that the two were able to have an official party due to Keith's three-week doctor-prescribed vocal rest and recovery from vocal cord surgery. And while the procedure may have kept Urban quiet, the proud papa confessed it didn't keep him from reading to his daughters. I recorded uh, several books onto this cassette tape, and I would uh, take that up and read to her at night by pressing the play button and just turning the pages and looking. And uh, she, she would hit the stop button and go, I want you to read it. And I couldn't explain, you know. <laughs> when it came time to entertaining the crowd, however, it wasn't a tape recorder, but rather his fans that Keith turned to for help. Two lucky KU diehards got that honor after landing a spot on stage with him following an online contest. It's gonna be a long hot summer. We should be together. It was just crazy how this all worked out, but I'm happy it did, and I'm glad that we actually took the time to do this, because this has just been phenomenal. You better believe you're gonna fly with me. And the stage isn't the only place Keith's fans are popping up these days. Head on over to GACTV.com to check out his latest music video, You Gonna Fly, and see if you see yourself. Hey. 